regreso aquí en Auto 060 a la edición especial del Auto Show de Los Ángeles. Y Mercedes Benz, como siempre, se, se, se hace todo lo posible por robarse la atención en el show y lo ha logrado esta vez con la presentación del Mercedes Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo 6, un auto especialmente diseñado para el juego, para el videojuego y realmente espectacular. Vayan a la página de facebook.com slash auto 060 o en YouTube. YouTube Javier Mota para que vean el video pero ahí hablamos con Herbert Lee el Creative Director of my Mercedes Benz Advanced Design about the Mercedes Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo 6 Well Herbert here uh, at the Mercedes Benz uh, stand at the LA Auto Show and you stole the show with your car <laughs> I think we did actually yeah yeah pretty stunning I mean this is the Mercedes Benz AMG Vision uh, Gran Turismo can tell us about it please Well, um, when we started the project, Sony uh, Polyphony approached us and they wanted to uh, do a collaboration with our brand, a Mercedes-Benz, uh, to create and design a car for, for the game, so basically a game car. And of course, I mean, who wouldn't get excited about that, uh, yeah. to design a virtual car? But we went to a little bit, m we went beyond that and we decided to create a, a full-size model really for it. Yeah. <laughs> So it was pretty exciting. Um, the whole process was very short, so it was a bit. We were a bit under pressure uh, for the so that because uh, Sony had a date for a launch. And but at the at the end of the day, I think we uh, were successful to uh, in creating something emotional, something dynamic, something stunning. Yeah, so and, like uh, say, following the Mercedes-Benz philosophy, the best or nothing, eh? Really, because it's a. Uh, I mean, it's really like, it's a game car, I know it's not, probably not drivable, but like, it really is like the best car here at the show, yeah. and like, and the screen is going to look fantastic too. Yeah, um, I can't wait to play it. Actually, the creator, uh, Mr. Yamauchi, actually drove the car in his game around the Nürburgring. Yeah. Yeah, and he said that the performance of the car is pretty, pretty good, pretty fast. So, uh, I was kind of blown away when I heard that, you know, so I can't wait to drive it. Um, so this car is based uh, a little bit on the SLS, uh, the, the Goldwing, the original Goldwing? You can say it's uh, more or less based on the SLS, but uh, we took it a little farther, so it's actually a little longer and wider than the uh, SLS. Uh, the proportions are similar, the long hood, the short deck drop tail, uh, which is a classic Mercedes-Benz proportion. So we wanted to use this extreme proportion, even make it wider, and to use uh, pure geometric shape to create the car, and that's what you see here. So like, if, if, in, in not in only your dreams, but like in a lot of people's dreams, this car will be the best car on the streets too, but it's not going to make it to the streets, right? Unfortunately, <laughs> we have no plans right now, uh, but as you can see, uh, it is pretty striking, the, the paint and um, the, the fullness, the voluptuousness of the uh, fenders, which was inspired by a sphere. Yeah. Uh, and blended into the body. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it'll be cool to see it in real, uh, it, it driving like a real car, but it does drive, it's, uh, it's remote control. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, can so you talk a little bit about the grill? Because there's something pretty particular about that grill. Yeah, it was inspired by uh, the 1952 uh, 300SL Pan Americana race car. And at the time, the grill uh, had this more of an oval inverted grill, which is kind of where we were uh, inspired by. And it had these vertical louvers uh, for protection so that uh, debris and you things would, yeah, would not go into the, uh, the grill, uh, the intake. So uh, we were inspired by that. So we actually used these vertical louvers uh, on the grill. But we took it a little farther and we said, why not have a, a light entertainment in the grill? <laughs> so that's why the grill is uh, full LED and we can simulate a lot of uh, uh, light functions. Uh, Another stunning element of the car. One final question. I understand that you wanted the car to be red. Oh, where'd you hear that? <laughs> uh, I have some sources. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, went with the corporate uh, color, the aloe beam silver, and I think we did a, a good decision because this paint job is pretty striking, uh, even even from us. You yeah. know, us looking at the car, we were also very surprised how striking it looked. Yeah, so. maybe in the game you can paint it red. Then. <laughs> Actually, in the game you can get it in black, and you can get it in gunmetal gray, darker gray. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your time and uh, congratulations. You thank really you. stole the show with that car. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.